over there? It's Conal Finlay here, the owner and director of The Seller Store down in New Zealand. And welcome to today's episode of The Seller TV. And so, today what we're going to be tasting is this little fantastic number, and it's actually a Vino Verde. Now, Vino Verde is a, uh, well, a wine, or a style of wine rather, uh, that comes from a particular region called Vino Verde, believe it or not, uh, up in northern Portugal, in the uh, Minho region, up in the very, very, very north of Portugal. So right on the, um, as we know, sort of Portugal is a long, thin uh, country, and then Spain sort of surrounds it up, up and along there. And if you can think of that northern border between Spain and Portugal, that's where the uh, Minho region is. So just sort of south, uh, south uh, of... Uh, um, the Galicia region, or the Galicia region up in uh, northern Spain. Anyway, uh, and so the Vino Verde there is the name of the actual region, so this is also what it, the name the wine is called, uh, but the grape varietal here largely is a grape called Lorero, uh, and we'll have the spelling of that uh, um, down below uh, for you so you can find that out as well. There are a couple of other grape varietals here as well, but that is the main grape varietal. They do make red wines there as well, but of course the white wines are absolutely the leaders uh, in wine production there. So the particular producer will uh, bring it up there for the camera and a nice little close-up shot there. And it's the Arco uh, Arca Nova, I should say, their Vinho Verde, and this is the 2014 vintage. And this is absolutely fantastic, and I always always heavily recommend uh, having the uh, having Vino Verde on things like summer. Why, you're probably asking, is well, just so it can prove it to you as well, on the back label there, it's only 10.5%. And that's one of the best things about Vino Verde, is that you can just drink it and drink it and bucket loads of it. Uh, not that I'm necessarily condoning that, but you can drink uh, bucket loads of it over the summertime. And just enjoy it. You don't necessarily have to feel after a glass or two, feel like, oh God, you know, I have to slow it down. Uh, and, and that's the best part about it. It's light, it's refreshing, it's definitely food friendly, and it's definitely people friendly as well. Uh, and you'll notice it not so much now in the glass, uh, but definitely when you first pour it, there is still a slight fizz to it. It's it's nothing nowhere near like a, a Prosecco or a, or a Champagne or any other sort of sparkling wine, but there is just a touch of uh, fizz to it as well. So, um, which is also helps to give sort of a lively feel to it as well, these perfect little summer, summer refreshing wines. Anyway, let's give it a little sip, shall we? A sniff. Mmm. So on the nose immediately, it's very much a citrus-based sort of uh, wine, and so we're getting a lot of lemon, a lot of uh, a lot of lime here as well on the nose. But there's also this lovely one I really really like. It's definitely it's like biting right into a really ripe and rich, uh, crunchy, juicy uh, green apple. If you can think of like a Granny Smith apple and just really picking it up right off the tree even, uh, and it's just you bite right into it and. And that smell, um, it's just green apple skin and, and green apple, Granny Smith apples um, all the way. That's exactly what this smells like and it's just gorgeous. It just speaks for me, it speaks of summer. So let's give a little taste, shall we? Mmm, mmm. So as I said, you can't really see it anymore in the glass, but definitely on the pellet there is that sort of slightly, a very, very mild mousse. But if you think of sort of Prosecco or a Champagne sort of toned down, um, that um, there's bubbliness on the, on the pellet there. It just sort of helps cre um, create this uh, lovely sort of wave of flavour rippling over your tongue there, and it's just delicious. So it's very light, very sort of accessible uh, white wine here, and the pellet uh, on the fl the flavours on the pellet here, again, there's m very much a sort of a citrusy, a green apple uh, sort of ca uh, characteristic to it, uh, but definitely a little bit of sort of green melon here as well, and it's lovely, and also has um, just a touch, just a touch of sort of a, a green pineapple, um, mango-ish sort of flavour just on the pellet as well. So it's lovely. It's 
it's complex, but it's not so overwhelming that, you know, you're not going to be able to um, enjoy it without sort of, you know, thinking about it. This is definitely a, just a sit down, pop out, you know, open it up like we did, chuck it into a glass with, with a few friends in over summer or winter, wherever really. It's just a great white wine uh, and just enjoy it. It's just fantastic. Uh, now, we have to say special plug out to this wine at the moment because we are clearing some space out in our warehouse at the moment, making sure that we've got enough room for the next vintage, uh, which will be the 2015 vintage. Uh, so this bottle was usually $20 retail online, and so we have actually got a very special price on it at the moment. It's 25% off. And it's down to now $15 a bottle. And in my opinion, for having a nice, light, crisp, refreshing uh, white wine like this, it's an absolute steal at $15 a bottle. Uh, so, go on. What are you waiting for? Go up and pick another bottle, two bottles, a case, half a case, uh, and enjoy it. Pet, load it up for Christmas, uh, or wherever you're wanting to be drinking these sort of white wines, and just go crazy. It's a, You're not going to, well, put it this way, you're not going to regret it. And so, as usual, please do like away, comment away, uh, tell us if you've tried this white wine, any other Vinho Verdes, if you like this style. If you do, uh, great. If you don't, let us know why. We're, we're interested. We want to have a little bit of a dialogue with you. We think it's interesting and exciting. And so, please do subscribe and share around with all your wine-loving friends and family out there. And, of course, cheers. <laughs>